bring everything but the hog out. Think we eat nothing but grass, what you talking about? I'm about to jump into the whip and hit the whole foods early. Get everything to get that soul food working. Like mac and cheese, the collard greens, the black eyed peas, and get a roast of that tofu turkey. Got cornbread, even got stuff. Mashed potatoes so good, put your hand in it. Stream beans, and you know we got yams with it. Welcome back, all you beautiful souls, spreading compassion and the tofu cube of truth all around the world. Today we're doing a little Christmas taste test from the Iceland supermarket here in the UK. £3.50 this cost, meal for one, would you believe it? No turkey, Christmas dinner. It's plant based alternative to turkey accompanied by a medley of wild mushrooms, butternut squash, chestnuts and kale served in a savoury sage and onion gravy 350 grams looks absolutely amazing it's got mushrooms like I say it's made with soya protein soya we're contentious here 98 calories per 100 grams so we're going to give this a little taste test get it in the microwave because it actually says in the back saucepan in microwave for cooking so I don't know how this is going to turn out I would like it obviously to have some potatoes and such with it but I think this is absolutely great it just illustrates the amazing vegan range that's coming out meal for one no turkey Christmas dinner no turkeys involved been absolutely slaughtered have their life taken away from them for an unnecessary reason there's actually 10 million turkeys killed just for Christmas dinner each year here in the UK. It's absolutely disgusting guys, it doesn't need to happen. You can get an amazing Christmas dinner just with something like this if you would like it. You've obviously got nut roast, there's sagaya roasts as well, there's tofurkey roast, there's so so much out there that doesn't have a victim involved. But we're going to try this out, we're going to give it a little taste test, see if it's worth the money, see if it passes the tofu tommy taste test. Let's get right into it. So guys, as you can see it says saucepan removed from all packaging, place the desired quantity of frozen product in a saucepan, add 3 tablespoons of water and obviously cook for 7 to 9 minutes. But we're going to microwave it, it says remove all packaging, place the frozen product on a microwavable plate, cover and cook to 4 or 5, mi five or 6 minutes, sorry, at 750 watts. So that's how we're going to so guys, what's really really good about it, as you can see, the protein, 3.7 grams, it's obviously, the fat is quite, yeah, the fat's quite high, I would say, 4.7, which is not too bad, but obviously fiber, 3 grams of fiber, carbohydrate, 8.6, so just like it says on the packaging, it says, looks like meat, tastes like meat, it just isn't, so, Looks absolutely amazing, meal for one, no turkey! So guys, just look at this. This is the first look of it, what it looks like out the package. You can see all these bits of turkey, the sweet potato. Looks absolutely amazing with the kale and things, so let's get it in the microwave. Wow guys, just check this out, this is it, just out the microwave, doesn't it look absolutely amazing? Let's get stuck into this, come on! Well guys, here it is, let's get stuck into it. First we're going to have a bit of the sweet potato. Just look at the turkey. Whoa, the no turkey! Let's get some of the chestnuts. I've never really tried chestnuts before, so I'll try them. It's nice. It really is. My only grievance would be, guys, it hasn't got any roast potato in it. I think it could really do with some roast potatoes, adding a bit of your Yorkshire puddings into it. But yeah, overall it's quite nice, like I say, the, the no turkey is really nice, the chestnuts, the little cranberries with the kale and things. It's certainly quite a decent sized meal for the price, I would say. Yeah guys, I would give this definitely 
probably a three out of five. I'm saying definitely, probably. You know what I mean? Definitely, probably. Definitely a three out of five. But like I say, it could do with some more potato. It could definitely do with a bit of potato in it rather than obviously the butternut squash. I, I was saying sweet potato. It's butternut squash, sorry. So it could definitely do with some potato in it and some Yorkshire pudding, I would say. But overall, really really good, I thoroughly enjoy it, like I say, it's a decent enough meal, it would do for one person, obviously if you're testing out veganism, I think it's something to obviously try, but like I say, I would definitely go for the Tofurky roast, the Sagaya roast, or of even the Vigusto roast, any of them, they're the, they're the real bee's knees, they're the top of the Christmas vegan food chain, as you say, no animals involved. So let me know if you guys have tried it, let me know if you're going to go and try it at Iceland's, like I say, it's £3.50. I hope you like this little video, I'm going to go and get stuck into the rest of this. Remember as always, binge on life, purge negativity and starve guilty feelings and be kind to every single kind this Christmas and always. Much love guys and I'll speak to you all soon. Binge on life, purge negativity and starve guilty feelings. Speak to you all soon and love you so much.